All right, so we've just finished installing the stone stomper. Pretty pumped to have this done. Um, yeah, keep watching and you'll see how we do it. Here we go, finally time to install our stone stomper. This is something we've been needing for a little while now. Those 37s are brutal. You hear rocks banging up all the time. So here we go. We got this thing back when we got to Queensland. We did order it in Tasmania um, over Christmas time, but by the time we'd left, uh, they were ready to send it, so it wouldn't, wouldn't have turned out right timing. So we got it sent to Queensland. Now we're here, we're back in New South Wales, and we finally got an opportunity to install it. So it's a pretty simple process to order it just contact the, contact the guys jump on stone stomper website they'll just send you a pack um, it have a read through that it gives you all of that information that you need and gives them all the information that they need they ask for measurements and photos of your setup and your van and your length and your width and all that first thing we're going to do I've laid it all out so it looks pretty straightforward I've put our little brackets on the end so we can screw it to the van um, next thing we'll do is we'll back the car up we'll get it hooked up onto the van and then we'll start installing. So before we back the car up, we're gonna put this bar on so that'd make it a lot easier instead of having to jump over the, um, the drawbar. So when we ordered this, they asked for photos of all this and our, and our setup that we have now, and they've made the brackets a suit. They do have um, standard sort of um, brackets that they make for general type hitches, but this is a bit of a custom fit, this one. So easy as, that'll just go through there. And then one bolt will come through and lock that into position. We'll just nip it up. You like my um these are my chinese spanners all right these are worth their weight in gold right? only because i couldn't be bothered i'm just being lazy couldn't be bothered to get the spanners out the band's all hooked up we'll get the jockey wheel out the way and then we'll slide the um the stomper in Okay, next thing we've got to do is we've got to remove these um, the mud flaps off the standard stone guard here. We'll flick them off and I'm actually going to see if I can mount them further down the van, maybe just in front of the suspension. So let's get these off. Are you just like over my shoulder? Yes. Watching everything I do? Yes. That's good, honey, because you might learn something. <laughs> Righto, hopefully we can put these down a bit further. That'll be mint, eh? Mm -hmm. Covering our beautiful... Turquoise Cruise Master arms. <laughs> Do you reckon that'll go good there? Uh, what are you protecting? I'll just notch out the corner for this and we can just screw them up here. Our next little part, we've got to screw this to the actual caravan itself. Now, um, we've just fitted these up. There's little um, D shackles to put these on. And then the kit comes, comes with hex heads and they even supply you with the driver, man. That is so cool. So obviously no need to drill. These are a self-drilling drilling screw, so let's get them on. They lay out, they give you three screws for each one, so. We're done. Can we have a beer yet? <laughs> nah, I'm joking. All right. And I think there's another, yeah, there is. There's a strap right in the middle and we just tie that up to the chassis. And this just permanently stays on like this. When you unhook it from the car, all you do is sort of roll it up and leave it chilled out under here. So, yeah. Easy. What's next? You hope you haven't skipped any steps. <laughs> I could read the instructions if you'd like. Oh, that would be just too easy. I reckon we just put it through here, maybe, and just tie it off. If this is wrong, don't tell me, all right? For everyone watching, this is probably not a how to install a stone stomper video. This is how Chris installed our stone stomper video. Yes, correct. And we don't know how it's going to end up yet. <laughs> Come on, darling. I know how to make things. Ross, if you're watching this, you got confidence in me, don't you, buddy? Come <laughs> on, my dad. Me, me and Ross, mate. Shaking right? his head right now. We're the builders, Ross and I. We're the A-team, Ross, you and me. <laughs> All right, let's hook it up to the car now. <laughs> now, obviously, don't start from the outside and work in because you're probably going to get stuck. So if we start from the furthest inside one on each side, and if you peel up here, you'll see there's little tabs. So it's as simple as just whammo. Oh, very simple. Whammo. And did you say furthest? Furtherestest. <laughs> Is that not a word? <laughs> it's 
Further is not a word. <laughs> speak. I speak better at English than I used to did. Hey, honey. Uh -huh. All right, there, and then there's one more on the outside. Yep, here. I can't believe we finally get this snow snowball. Look at those time tires. Time. They're brutal. Yeah. Okay. okay. We'll go to the other side now. There's been more than one occasion when a rock has made me jump. <laughs> Read this one. I actually read something on the instructions. So this centre one just comes up, and I guess over that and pulls it back down to the centre. So center. you skimmed the instructions. Skimmed, it, yes. All right. Just like that. Now the other thing we're going to have to do, which I have allowed for in the install kit, they ask you about if you want to run a centre bar. So there's little loops here. I did forget to get some bar, so we gave them a measurement so this a bar can be mounted to the draw bar and just hold it up like that, which is. But I do not have a bar. We could probably use a stick. <laughs> can we get a stick out of the bush? Come on, go hunting. Wait, the idea of this anyway, the rocks are going to flick up. They're either going to hit here or go up into there, which they probably will because there's a big gap here. Or they're just going to come under, they're going to hit there, and they're not going to come flying up. So it's going to make the world They're different. not going to hit up there anymore. No, it's going to make the world different. Definitely going to put the mud flaps here, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to notch them out though for the for the brake line. And if I actually bugger them up, Jay's, can we have some new mud flaps? Because I really like these things. I love it. Here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, plan A doesn't work like the multi-tool. Use a scalpel. Do you think I should go somewhere where we're not going to slice myself to pieces? Or that would be boring. And very unlike you. I don't slice myself, what are you talking about? Never. Really? Think you might slice me. Ranger! Ranger, hi! Ranger Stacy. I had the hots for Ranger Stacy on TV. <laughs> Do you know who Ranger Stacy was, babe? Ah, uh, no. Oh, you didn't live in Queensland. I didn't live in Australia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Done. Who's Ranger Stacy? Now I want to know. I'm not straight now. Who's Ranger Stacy? She was just a girl that was on the TV shows and she was cool. <laughs> Ranger Stacy. Okay. Okay. Let's see if it actually fits. Are you ready to see if my measurements were correct? Oh, uh, here we go. Oh! Did it, it actually work? What? Brad Cannon. King Shocks Australia calling me. Brad, I'll call you back. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Let's see if we can get a screw in, hey? Note, safety glasses are being worn. <laughs> Sorry, Ross. <laughs> Look at that! What do you reckon? Yay! That protects our beautiful turquoise. XT suspension. How are you going under here? I'm done. What do you think? You're done. See? Make use of these beautiful mud flaps. Oh. So it just protects Good. all that. This is the Stone Stomper brochure. A little bit of a look. And there you go. All done and dusted, installed and finished. Like I said, the only thing we got left is to put the bar across there as soon as we get to a hardware, and that'll hold that up a little bit. Um, so we did a bit of a detour into graft, and we've got to get a bar to mount to the draw bar with some saddles, and then hook into here so it doesn't drop like the other side, which I clearly wasn't prepared. So let's get in the bunnings and see if we can get something. Maybe. Are you thinking a curtain rod? Yeah, because it's black. Because it's black. Yeah, we got to get. It's tough. Like it's not going to bend. I just got to find a saddle though, it's, it's 25 mil, so that should be fine. But yeah, look, it's satin black as well. That's going to do the job just mint. And it's so solid, it's not going to bend. Lots of people, I've seen lots of people use PVC and it just goes brr, brr. Saddles. Oh, you know where I get them? I get some tech screws, I don't know if I've got any in the back. Alright, next we need... 
some caps for the end. Where would caps be? I reckon these will fit straight on. What do you reckon? Kids, don't try this at home. Don't open packets in Bunnings. That's it. 10 gauge by 16 mil hex heads and caps, saddles, curtain rod. Let's go. Yeah. This is why you don't open them Watch in the heads. store. Awesome. Thank you. Right, let's go and store. This is going to find the grinder. This one I prepared earlier. I mentioned it earlier, so... You like my workshop in the uh, uh, Bunnings car park? Alright, so I've cut the rod to 2100 20, long. I'll put a little end caps in. And I stuffed it because I went too hard, so I'm just going to grab another one. Before you buy a <laughs> packet of four. Just slip him on there, just give him a little tap this time. That's it, and we're done. So now we put it through here. And then through the other side, I'd... Done. What's half of 2100? Is 1050, is it? I shouldn't really use an impact driver too on steel, but... Done. And... Done skis. Don't see it holds up, doesn't drag on the ground. Yeah. Very good for our travels, we're not going to destroy the van, we're not going to um, destroy our bikes these tyres throw a heap of rocks up so um, if you have any questions leave a comment below or contact the guys direct from Stone Stomper and they will sort you out. Simple process, go for it. Okay so we've just installed the Stone, stone Stomper. Yeah. Is there a Bunnings around here at all? <laughs> um, yeah something that's gonna be go yeah. Whoops. Uh-huh. What was that? Can you put that in the bloopers? <laughs> Golden rule let the screw do the work. <laughs> <laughs>